Hi everybody, this is Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards and I'm coming on on this lovely Sunday afternoon uh, to do a very quick tutorial on some tags that I'm making using um, a primitive hearts die from Sizzix. Um, and it uses sentiments from a stamp set that is from Paper Tray Ink and it is called I believe Love Lives Here Holiday, but I'll show you the products in just a moment. Um, this die right here, which is a snowflake cut from vellum, is also from Paper Tray Ink, and I'll show you the set. And then I added a little charm. You could add anything you want to decorate um, the tag. So this is uh, a layered tag. I have foam uh, dots in between the hearts, and you can use any pattern papers you have. Um, on hand to create these but one of my favorite things about Christmas is just going home for Christmas and being with my family um, uh, we're all almost all of us are in the area there's one person out of state that comes in but um, not every year so um, anyway I I really love these sentiments all hearts come home for Christmas and then uh, this one that says Christmas lives in the heart and then I'll show you one other um, on the tag that we're going to make, and that's for the tutorial. So let me get started. Um, I'm just going to show you the products. I can't remember the name of these, but this is what the snowflakes look like from Paper Tray Ink. And I used the smallest one. And uh, if you type in snowflakes at the Paper Tray Ink website, I'm sure you'd see a bunch of things to choose from. You don't need to use this particular one. I think any small snowflake would work for this tag. So that's one set of dies that I used. And then the other thing that I used, and I don't think my camera is good enough to show, but this is the Hearts Primitive die, uh, and it cuts out three different sized hearts. Okay, primitive shaped hearts. So the die cut... <coughs> gives you three different sizes of hearts and for the sake of the tag that we're making today I'm just going to use two of them. So the first thing you do of course is you die cut all the pieces that you need and um, and then what I did was I edged them in my normal craft colored ink. Uh, so any craft colored ink that you have I have a classic Stampin pad from Stampin Up called Crumb Cake that I used but any one would work okay so you just use an ink dauber or a sponge and go around each of the tags. So that's what I've done here for the sake of the video to speed things up. Okay, and then the stamp set that you're going to use for the sentiment is called Love Lives Here Holiday. And I love, um, this was concepted by Melissa Phillips who I greatly admire. And um, she's a designer with paper tray ink, reverse confetti, um, lots of different scrapbooking companies and um, she's a designer that I just I love everything every single thing she makes <laughs> so um, I love watching her um, her blog for posts and uh, seeing what she's up to but this this and the Love Lives Here stamp set are some stamps that she concepted that Nicole Hetty helped design for Paper Tray Ink and it's one of again another stamp set that I use a whole bunch so um, the sentiments I'm using today are from that stamp set. So I stamped out um, this sentiment that says hang your heart at home for Christmas. And what I like about these little heart um, tags that we're making is that you could almost just hang these on the tree even. You could back, you could go ahead and put another heart with patterned paper on the back and these would be really cute ornaments just to hang on a tree because they're not very big. I'd say they're about three and a half inches tall. So um, anyway, I just think that you could use them as tags or as little ornaments. So um, so anyway, I stamped out this particular sentiment, hang your heart at home for Christmas. And there's a bunch of different ones in the stamp set that you could use for this. Um, but specifically, I was trying to find sentiments that have the word heart in them. Um, so the next thing you do, once you have your pieces stamped and ready to go, and, and again, I did ink the edge of this also. Because I, I have a theory that if you're going to ink the edge of something, you should ink the edge of almost everything. And I'm sure there's exceptions. but um, So the first thing you're going to do is um, turn over your smaller heart, and you're going to put some uh, just some sticky dots or squares or something, because we want to create some dimension on the tag. Okay, so I am just adding some little 
foam squares so that my tag will stand up away from the the back. So I'm just going to take off all of the little the backings from this. And then just line it up uh, with so that it's centered over the bigger heart. And put that together. Okay, so now you have a two layered heart with dimension from the side. Okay, and then what I like to do before I forget, I usually do it before I attach, is um, go ahead and punch your hole. And uh, this is so that you have a place to put um, your string through, okay, when you're ready to hang it. Okay, so go ahead and punch your hole. Okay, and then the next thing, um, if you look at my completed tag, I cut some the little snowflakes out of vellum. Now you could also you could cut them out of whatever you have. If you don't have vellum or you can't afford vellum, the dollar stores st uh, stores sell parchment paper, and parchment paper will also work. Um, but you could really use almost anything, wax paper, whatever kind of has a translucent feel to it. You could even use clear packaging from an, some old packaging and have more of a clear effect and edge it in some paint or spray to give it some dimension. So um, just some ideas there. Uh, you know, I think the biggest thing about creating is just play. Play with what you have on hand um, and think about using things that maybe you wouldn't use normally. So. Um, I have a couple snowflakes here that I went ahead and die cut. And again, I just die cut mine from vellum. And what I did was I just placed them on the tag at an angle. And then I take a piece of scotch tape. Um, and I'm going to tape them down in the middle. And this is just to hold them in place, okay? It doesn't matter where the tape, you know, as long as it's in the middle because you're going to put this over the top now. Okay, so I'm going to take a lower, um, kind of a thinner piece of foam tape now, and I'm going to place this, and this is, I get this at Daiso, it's just a roll of a, it's a lower or a thinner um, dimensional tape, and I use that a lot, especially for cards that I'm going to put through the mail. Okay, so you're just going to lay that over the top where you had the tape, and there you go, you have your tag. And the next thing you do is go ahead and put your thread through for um, for your tie. And uh, I've got a piece of twine here. Actually, I'm going to get a thinner piece. Hold on just a second. Uh, because the hole I punched on this one is much smaller. Uh, Okay, and I'm just using some, uh, these types of things I find at the thrift store all the time, and they're great for using for ties on tags. Very inexpensive, and you get a whole bunch of twine, so always nice. And so I'm going to take my thread, and I like to fold it in half and then feed it through. And depending on which way you want it to look, you can either feed it through at the front or the back. And you know what? I'm on camera, so maybe what I'll do, I'm just going to do a single thread because I just can't get it through on camera. I'm, it's hard to like look through the lens at what you're doing and, <laughs> and work on what you're doing. So uh, anyway, all right, so we've got that in there. And you could at this point, if you wanted, um, tie on a little uh, charm. Um, on the first tag I showed you, I actually tied on a little snowflake charm uh, dangle. So it's always kind of fun, especially if you're going to use it for an ornament on a tree. I think it's always nice to have something dangling. So you could tie on some jingle bells, whatever you wanted to do. So for right now, I'm just going to, I've got it threaded through and tied. Okay, and then the last step really is to just add some glitter glue. And you could do a couple different things. You could use just regular glue and edge this and then sprinkle glitter on it and do the same up here. Or you can use, um, I'll show you on this one, I used a wink of Stella. So it's just glimmery, okay? Um, on this one, I used uh, some Stickles Diamond glitter glue, 
Okay, so this one looks a little bit different. And this one I also stapled a piece of ribbon in place and then threaded my, my thread through the ribbon. Okay, so that's another way you can create a hanger for it. Um, but So that, that kind of gives you some ideas on how to make these tags. And uh, I just think they're so cute. I think Christmas is all about love. And it's really about family and friends and spending time with people that are special to you. And um, so I think these are the, cr the perfect little tags to use for that. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, this is Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards. If you like this, please thumbs up and subscribe. Hopefully I'll be back with some more Christmas tag videos soon. Blessings and hugs. Bye for now. Oops. Caught on my ring.